All right, got yet another crazy story. Once again, you have the pro-abortion lobby doing amazing work at exposing the lawless thugs that they are. And uh, in this case, you have an example of a abortion advocate uh, which being charged, a, b a bunch of abortion activists being charged with attempting to murder police during a violent protest. This is on lifenews.com. It says abortion activists charged with attempting to murder police during a violent protest. This was just a couple days ago. So it says in the article, an abortion activist from California was arrested and charged with attempted murder for his actions during a violent pro-abortion protest following the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. As Life News reported, the Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade with a 6-3 majority ruling in the Dobbs case that, quote, the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion, unquote, allowing states to ban abortions and protect unborn babies. The High Court also upheld the Mississippi, the High Court also upheld the Mississippi 15-week abortion ban so states can limit, further limit abortions. In response, radical abortion advocates have engaged in violence and terror across the country, burning pregnancy centers, vandalizing Fox News, and even terrorizing state legislators at the state capitol. During a protest in Los Angeles, members of the crowds of the crowd began, quote, throwing fireworks and other makeshift weapons, unquote, at the officers. As Breitbart News reports, Michael Oretz, 30, and Juliana Barnando, whatever you say her name is, 23, 23 years old, uh, were among those arrested during a clash with police officers in the downtown Los Angeles, in downtown Los Angeles, Los Angeles Police Department Chief Michael Moore, Michael Moore said, if I say his name, continuing on. Uh, quote, the vast majority of those involved were peaceful and law-abiding, however, a much smaller group of individuals took to the streets with the intention of creating chaos and destruction, unquote, the LAPD said. Uh, such, was the, such, such was the press of people, the LAPD declared, declared un, uh, sorry, an unlawful assembly uh, the, the late night after. Protesters filled downtown, filled downtown streets and some briefly blo blocked traffic and two freeways. Oritz was allegedly among those members. He is accused of throwing a makeshift flamethrower at an officer who had been treated, who had to be treated for burns. He was charged with attempted murder of a police officer, uh, KTLA reported. At some point, some point in the night, uh, Bernando, I think that's how you say your name, allegedly attempted to take an officer's baton and was subsequently taken into custody. The New York Post reported she faces possible charges for resisting arrest. Quote, I condemn the violence against police officers that, were, that occurred last night and into today, unquote, LAPD Chief Michael Moore said in a news release. Remember, this is the kind of stuff that the side of love and tolerance does whenever they lose. You know, this is, this is how they show their love and tolerance for everybody. Says here, continuing on, uh, quote, the individual, individuals participating in such criminal activity are not exercising their First Amendment rights in protest of the Supreme Court's decision, rather they are acting as criminals. The department will vigorously pursue, pursue, pursue uh, pr prosecution of these individuals, unquote. While pro-abortion leftists engaged in violence, pro-life advocates have been working overtime to protect babies. Texas and Oklahoma have banned abortions before Roe was overturned, and Missouri became the first state after Roe to protect babies from abortions, then South Dakota became the second, then Arkansas became the third state protecting babies from abortion, then Kentucky became the fourth, Louisiana became the fifth, and Ohio, Ohio became the sixth, Utah the seventh, and Oklahoma the eighth. As Life News reported, the Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade with a 5-4 majority ruling in a Dobbs case that, quote, the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion, allowing states to ban abortions to protect unborn babies. The High Court also ruled 6-3 to three to uphold the Mississippi 15-week abortion ban so the states can further limit abortions, which was stated before. So, uh, in all this rioting and insanity, the pro-abortion lobby just keeps exposing the, the kind of stuff they'll do in the name of love and tolerance. You know, murdering cops and everything else and just, just causing overall destruction. You know, I dare them. I, I would dare them to try this kind of stuff in the rural areas and see how many body bags they have to buy, because it's it's insane how they only do this in the cities. Because if they, again they try this in the rural areas, well they're they're spending lots of money on body bags because they're going to need them. But remember, this is all the kind of stuff that the side of love and tolerance will do to your to yourself. Even if you're even if you're completely neutral, you know you you just have no opinion on the matter. They'll just destroy your business because they're mad that they can't go out and be a promiscuous harlot. And you know have a result from that. So anyway, just more examples of the pro-abortion lobby exposing themselves. Don't be deceived by all the pro-abortion propaganda out there. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.